I just don't know. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no worries. No problem. <laughs> Okay, well today we are in Frederick, Maryland and we are sitting outside of the Goodwill. We're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. I just sold some of these out of my booth recently for like 12 bucks. This one doesn't have a price on it though. I wonder, it probably only charged me like a buck 50 for that if I brought it up. So I'll bring this up with me. Well, we are going to begin today's journey in the figurines. And check out this weirdo. <laughs> Miriam painted this. I like it. I think it's a cup. I'm curious about that rabbit in the back. It's made of metal. Kate Designs Signature Series. That one might be worth looking up. So we'll stick that in the cart and keep going. That looks like that red something. Um, I can't remember the name of it. It's written something. These are neat, but you can see that they are pretty messed up. I love this bowl. That's gorgeous. Oh, it's marked on the bottom. $9.49. Gosh, I can't quite... I'm not going to be able to make that out, but it was... Um, August 1990. I could probably still make a little bit of money on that even without knowing the maker because it's just a beautiful bowl. Hello little piggy. <laughs> That's so cute. It's made in Japan. $4.50. Uh, it looks like it has a crack there down the back. I don't know. I feel like it's more decorative purposes anyway. So throw that in there. Now here is some um, some rose carnival marigold, 20 bucks. That's probably about what it's worth full retail, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Here's some beautiful pink depression glass dinner plates. It's crazy, the last time I was here, I actually bought an entire set of dinner plates and bowls and all that. I'm not really sure that I wanna do it again, but I'm a little bit tempted, I'm not gonna lie. There is a biscuit jar in the back. Let's get a closer look at that. Wait, maybe not. The lid does not fit on that biscuit jar. Nope, it doesn't have a lid. Darn it. I was hoping that the lid would fit, but it doesn't. I might come back to this if it's still here. That is a stunning bowl. It is Market Bazaar. Okay, so it's <laughs> not anything that I would really be able to buy and flip for a profit. I mean, I could probably, but I prefer studio art pottery to mass-produced pottery. This lady has crazy eyes. <laughs> I wonder if she's a hobbyist piece or if she was made to look like that. Best teacher. I almost walked right by that. I think that's more contemporary than it is vintage. Here we are in the vases, probably my favorite place to find the treasures. Take a moment to just absorb it and take it all in. This is kind of neat looking. This is from Stephanie, 1990 workshop. Unfortunately, the flower is missing one of the petals. And I recall looking at this last week. I'm having a moment of deja vu. Hmm, what is this? That is microwave and dishwasher safe. Is that a creature? Looks like a frog eating moss, but I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> something on handmade, something, something. It has a chip on it though. Ooh, what is this? I'm gonna venture, I guess, and say that's Eldrith, even though there's no marking on it. A lot of the times the smaller pieces don't have markings on them. And I'm pretty convinced that's probably Eldrith. So are they intact? That is the ultimate question. Oh my gosh, they're adorable, look at them. Oh, they're like snuggling together in the bag. Like, oh my gosh, we survived, we made it. We're going to a new home. <laughs> $2.50. Okay, well this aisle was a little bit crowded when I tried to make my way down here the first time. 
Now we can explore it freely. Here we have some Royal Dalton. I kind of like that pattern. Let's see what kind of pricing we have on these. I'm the most interested in the dinner plates because, well, they have probably the most value of the little plate and the other plates, but you can see they're really worn out. They, they were well loved. I'm not sure if that's a sign of going through the dishwasher. They probably went through the dishwasher. You can see the center um, design on them is really worn. And I don't know if there's really anything that can save those. So I am going to put those back. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it looks fun. <laughs> Clay art. I imagine those are going to be false graph, right? Oh no, pure one. <laughs> okay. I don't hate false graph so funny. I asked last night what some of my favorite crazy lamp lady isms are and a lot of you said I don't hate false scruff as one of your favorite isms or things that I say often. So I thought that was pretty funny. I don't say it that often. This is really pretty. $9.50. That is Corona by Andrea. It's mm. an interesting name for that. A little bit of Temptations for $12.50. Here we have Pyrex for $7.50. There is some wear on the outside of that though. I never know how much wear is too much wear, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Okay, well I'm not having the best of luck in the hard goods, so I decided to come over and check out what we have in the way of lamps. This is fantastic. I am kind of loving it. $7.50. Um, checking the petals because a lot of the times when they have designs like this, the petals are chipped. You can see there's a little bit of a chip right there on that petal, but it's, um, it's in pretty decent condition. Vintage cord, so um, I would say probably 50s or 60s on this. Um, maybe Italian? I don't know, I'm kind of... <laughs> oh gosh. Another ism you all enjoyed was, I don't need any more lamps, and then I proceed to buy lamps. I know, it's like a thing. That's why I'm the crazy lamp lady. Gosh. $5.50 though, I feel like I would be foolish to leave that behind at that price. I mean, this is kind of like a Hollywood Regency style lamp. I'm gonna stick it in. I'm like, I'm trying to tuck myself out of it, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't control myself from like putting it into the cart. So there we go. Lighting. I'm very curious what is in this box. So inside this box is a bunch of smaller lights and it's these things. So it's really anti anticlimactic. Okay, I just did a double take. <laughs> what? $19.79. Not this. This. Look at that. Why did somebody paint the top? Oh. Oh, no, I think it's locked shut. Ooh, that's dangerous that it locks. Pressure tested for aroma. Oh, it's a lane. Okay. <laughs> Free moth insurance. It's a lane chest that locks. Pretty sure that these were like recalled because children died. Don't really like that it locks. I mean, we could technically take the lock off of it, I think. I feel like. That's a crazy price for a lane chest, right? Oh, the cinnamon and horn. What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I think after all that, I'm going to leave it for somebody else. If I had the truck, it would be a different story. It would be a no-brainer, but I just don't know if I could do it in the Subaru. But another piece will come along. I think that might be my shade. Come here, you. I kind of like the looks of that dish. Treehouse by Deb Morris. Black designs. Oh, there's a broken spoon inside. That's a shame. It's a Comer Lock one. Maybe the Harlequin pattern. And that in the back. 
Who painted in Portugal? It's a pretty picture. Four dollars and fifty cents on that. New Mexico. Isn't that fun? What is that? Is that an alien for New Mexico or is that just like a, a, a clown creature? I don't know. I would love to find a creamer to go with it, but it looks like it's just a creamer. And this is why I walk up and down the shelves seven million times. <laughs> this is adorable. Um, it's made out of a foam material. Um, $1.49. Sweet little puppy dog. It's definitely worth buck forty-nine. That's so much fun. All right, so things are picking up a little bit. It was a little slow there. I wasn't finding much. Starting to get a little discouraged, but then there we go. All right, well, I bent down to check out this plate right here. This is how I roll because I thought, oh, that looks really neat. And behind it, I noticed this antique ooh, blue and white platter. It's a really nice design on it, too. It's $9.50. Ooh, there's a marking. Fern by Grindley and Company, England. So that's a great piece, especially this close to the holidays because a lot of people... Um, are entertaining and so that's when I like to buy and sell um, these serving pieces. Now I do have concerns about some of the glaze pops there but I feel like $9.50 I would still pick that up. So there you go. Okay there was another one. Oh this one right here. Let me get a closer look at that. Whatever that is. Okay, I like the design of that. Ooh, it's very heavy. Ave, A-V-E made that. All right, well, I think I'm gonna pass on that. I think I told you guys that I was looking for some Le Creuset cookware for our new kitchen, but it's just so spendy that I opted for the Target equivalent. Um, <laughs> but I found this, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's Le Creuset. I'm hopefully pronouncing it right this time around. Um, but it's $24.50. And it's got some serious discoloration. I don't know if that can be fixed. There's a chip in the lid. And I'm just standing here. I tried Googling, can you repair um, Le Creuset cookware? I just don't know. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no worries. No problem. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll buy it for $24.50. Hey. I was going to say, that looks like Culver, and it is. This is TJ Maxx. Um, it's a Halloween Culver. I think this one might just be a tea light holder for $1.50. You see it is marked there, Culver. Um, but it's got the little dachshunds on it. So I might stick that in the cart. got a few things that I need to find a signal to look up. Okay, well I decided to push my cart aside and do a cart review. Um, the first thing I looked up was this Dachshund Culver. It looks like it sells for 8 to 12 bucks, so for $1.50, I don't mind paying, paying that. Uh, it's absolutely adorable. So I'm going to keep that. And then the other thing I wanted to look up was that rabbit, but I have to dig it out. Okay, so here is um, one CAD Designs. I don't know, it's saying, did you mean CAD Designs? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't, because none of those things look right. Um, so I think that um, I'm gonna put the bunny back. I pulled this out to get a closer look at it before I made my decision, and I realized that the lid is actually really, really chewed up along the edges, like bad. Um, and also, <laughs> I noticed that the knob here is completely chipped. Okay, I circled back around. I ended up just picking up the tumblers. Um, I checked over the plates. Three of the five have flea bites on them. I don't really want to mess with the bowls. Um, I think I'm just going to take the tumblers. Yes, I'm going to separate the set. But um, I think the tumblers are probably my best bet. Okay, well, the Christmas section is really crowded, so I grabbed a few things and stepped off to the side. <laughs> stay out of everyone's way. Um, this is $2.50. You can see on the back, it's Owen's 
Pottery, area's oldest pottery, Sea Grove, North Carolina. Um, and I know that pottery that comes out of North Carolina can typically be pretty good. So I'm going to grab that for $2.50. I mean, just for the fact that it's a nice studio art pottery piece, I know I can make at least 20 bucks on that. Now, granted, um, since it's signed and it has a maker, it's probably worth quite a bit more than that. This is a Target Wondershop bird, and I talked about those before. This one has a tag on it for 2019. Um, so that one could be worth money because it's a little bit older. Yeah. So it's just a single, sig single. It's just a single, and I wish that we had more, but um, one will do for three dollars and fifty cents. There's a brass deer for two dollars and fifty cents. I kind of wish that he had a friend, but I don't know what our chances of finding his friend would be. <laughs> I like that, but I don't know if it would look good on my porch. This is really fun and vintage. Um, I don't see any markings on it. It's plastic. <laughs> it's got some schmutz on it. Actually, I feel like it's got a lot of dust on it because I'm going to have to sneeze. Ooh. Got a nose full of dust. Um, that was so much fun. I'm curious what that is down there. I kind of like that pattern. Wait, let's get a closer look at that one. $1.50. That is Rosanna, made in Italy. There's a cookie jar down here that looks very patriotic. And I'm a little curious about this. So let's tip it over and see what the bottom says. Sakura, China, Kimball. That's kind of neat. I don't think I'm buying 4th of July right now, though. <laughs> Those guys are party light. They're very cute. Oh, that was the rest of their sticker that fell. I better pick that up. I like the looks of him in the back. $4.49. He's a candlestick holder. Made in China. I don't see his friend though. I feel like he would have had a friend. Okay, well on that note, I'm going to head up towards the checkout and I will get back to you in the car. Okay, well my total spend there at that Goodwill was $74. And um, I feel like we got some good stuff. It was kind of slow, and I really had to take my time to dig on the shelves to really find anything. Um, but sometimes it's fun to just slow down and dig, um, because then you find surprises. And uh, I think I think we did pretty good. I'm interested to know what those tumblers sell for. I mean, the entire set was there. I decided just to take the tumblers um, and give those a shot, because I don't think I've really seen tumblers before. I think that's why I was interested in the tumblers and not necessarily the plates or the bowls or the the dome dish I don't know um somebody grabbed the biscuit jar without the lid so I don't know um but anyway I'm at the next good ball you guys are gonna have to wait for this video I will steal the video tomorrow so I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you